Welcome back to yet another video. Today we're going to try something a little bit different uh, and you have already heard it. It's right. I'm speaking in English. Uh, I've taken the decision to switch the channel to English and therefore... And that's that's my dog, Mali. <laughs> She's want some attention, I think. Um, but uh, today we're going for a run. We're going for 20 times 30 seconds hill repeat sprints. Uh, that was a pretty long word, but uh, that's what we're going to do right now. I'm just making a little bit of lunch. As you can see right here, it's the pasta cooking up nicely. Uh, should be done in a few minutes. And then we have some tuna uh, in oil, actually. Yeah, because it's in oil, it's uh, a little bit more moist, which is kind of nice. <laughs> Um, but yes, we're going for a, a little one um, and I'm excited. It's the first time after Berlin Half Marathon I, uh, I'm doing intervals. So uh, I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous to see uh, where's the body at. Uh, are we still in, in the lows or are we starting to get a little bit recovered and uh, seeing some progress yet again. The next race I'm going to attend is actually called Suru. 10 kilometers uh, and uh, the goal is to win the race actually uh, i have never ever run a race i have came second a few times now uh, which sucks uh, to be the second best is far from any achievement i would say but uh, yes that's the goal um, right now it looks like i have to run approximately 35 minutes and below to get the victory. It's a little bit hilly course, but I think I will manage to pull it off anyways. Um, yeah, that's the plan. And you can see here, that's the uh, the dune, uh, um, the sheets, the bed sheets. And the reason why it's laying on the table, it's actually because, because Mali did a little pee pee on it. So now we have to go and get it washed up and clean and everything. And because inside there's a lot of feathers, uh, they cannot be moist in any ways. So I have to tumble it for five hours before it's completely dry. Uh, and five hours is a long time. And if you have a full-time job, when do you get five hours to tumble uh, something for five hours? You don't. <laughs> so it has to wait till the weekend where we have a, a little bit more time on hand. Um, but uh, yes, first thing first, I'm going to eat my lunch and then we see each other in uh, in a few hours. I still need to finish my work day. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, almost done with work. Uh, and therefore also uh, grab myself a little Faxacondi. Uh, I don't mind. Uh, and of course there's uh, sugar inside. I'm not uh, all sugar alerted in any way, but uh, one hour more and then we are done and can go for, for our run. Uh, our hill repeats. Um, and I'm still a little bit nervous. It's, it's a little bit weird because I've run for like four years now and I get nervous about a training. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I will uh, get this hour done in just a snap of a finger. <clears throat> and yes, then we are done. Uh, let's go grab the uh, our clothes and see what shoes we're going to wear today. First up, our running clothes. Um, yes, this is not very pretty or either organized in any way, but uh, it works fine. <laughs> I'll just take it all out and then I will find what I like and then put it all back in and then we're done. Shorts. T-shirt and lastly uh, a wind jacket uh, and then I think we uh, reset actually and then just put it all back in and then of course I also need my uh, my running cap to keep my my hair not getting into my eyes or something I just think that a running cap is my become my signature actually every race every chain training I will have uh, a cap on and this is uh, this is Mali she's 11 weeks old and peeing everywhere basically <laughs> I think that's just the way it is to have a puppy isn't it what's wrong you want to play you want to go for you you want to go for a walk 
I don't think so. <laughs> she's just she's just just been out, uh, so I think she's just want to play, actually. I think someone found a very smart way of creating a sleeping bag. <laughs> Early in this video, I told you guys that we had to have five hours available to uh, to watch this duvet. Uh, but uh, right now, we actually has uh, have uh, three hours available, and then afterwards, we're going to hang it in in this closet, which is also provides hot air. So I think we're good to go. So in it goes, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully, it will fit. Ah, see, it's perfect. And now we are ready to go for a run. <laughs> and I have the perfect hill for uh, for this workout. Uh, just over at, at Velbu, it's like 1.4 kilometers away. There's a very, very steep hill. Uh, and that's going to be the, the place we're going to to run the, the hill repeats. So uh, I will do my, my warm up. It's about 2.5 kilometers. And then we're doing the 10. He'll repeat first and then we have a break in between with I guess two minutes of run and then do the uh, the last 10 hill repeats afterwards uh, and then of course we have a bit of jogging going back but uh, I'll just find my GPS and uh, let's go. Hopefully this wouldn't take very long maybe a few seconds. Let's... Yes and there we go it's green ready to go. Let's see if we can make this green light. Almost. I had to do a little bit of sprinting to get over. It's a little bit windy, but where we're going to run, uh, it's a little bit enclosed, so I don't think it's going to be a problem at all. Uh, and we're also just running back and forth on a very small uh, distance, so it's no problem today. We have just entered uh, something called Sunamagen, which is a a little park where there's a lot of gravel roads it's like i think there's 20 40 different roads you can run on and uh, walk your dog and just chill <laughs> but uh, we still need uh, 400 meters and then we're at uh, Valby back see you there i'm a little bit in a dilemma uh, because right here we actually have a small hill which could fit Perfectly, I think around about up there, that would be 30 seconds of full sprinting. But the real Velby Bag is actually out there on the road. Um, so right now, I'm, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Normally I'm, I'm going to run it out there, but, but it's on on the uh, on the road, uh, which is a little bit a little bit hard surface or harder surface than than gravel. But this also is a little more slippery. You see, you don't have that much traction. But since it's hill repeats, I think we are going to try this one out. Okay, we'll give it a go. And if it's too bad, uh, I'll just jump right out to the uh, to the road instead. So uh, let's do the first one. It's uh, 2.3 kilometers in the lake right now, which is which is a decent warm up. So uh, let's hit it. I will find the the right music and then let's go. <laughs> ten sticks. And I, that was a little bit Danish. Uh, ten sticks. <laughs> but let's get let's get this done. It's only around 15 seconds, so a little too short. So now we're going to hit the the one I always do, and it's oh, we have to go to the other side over here, and that's a real pain in the ass. I would say it's very hard, but it's this one. You see, it's up there. 
from there up to there. Woo. And that's the second one. And nice to see the heart rate going up. And now we have rest going back down. So the, the way of running them is to have full sprint up the hill and then going down. I'm variating between a little bit of walking and a little bit of jogging. And I have one minute and 15, 20 seconds to recover fully and go all the way back there and then just repeat. But this was the second one. Third one completed. It's only been four sprints, but I'm starting to really feel Berlin half marathon in the legs and in the body. Whew. Ah, I'm dying just a teeny tiny bit, but uh, almost half halfway done with the first first 10. Let's go get it. That was the sixth done. So over halfway now. Whew. At least with the first half. <laughs> oh, I need one more. Whew. And then we have two to two to three minutes break, and then repeat what we just did. It's, uh, it's a little bit hard, not gonna lie. First half done, only 10 more to go. Whew. I didn't think it would be this hard, but then again, I just maxed out on, on a half marathon, so it's kind of expected that your body need some time to recover. That's also why I have given it a whole week just with easy ones, easy runs. And then now this is the first interval session I'm doing after Berlin Half Marathon. Uh, so, whew. two minutes, uh, easy jog, and then we repeat. Ah, and now we're back, starting all over, doing the same 10 repeats we already, already done. Let's get it. And then we have some easy, easy jog afterwards. And I'm really looking forward to it right now. Halfway done with the second half. And I can feel the tank starting to get drained really hard. I don't think I have that many all outs in me anymore. But uh, I, I can see on the hard right. I'm still maxing out, but the speed has, do has just dropped tremendously. Oh, it's also very hard to speak English right now. But um, five more. I have to dig deep for the last ones here. One thing that really helps on hard intervals is to have some good music in the ears. It just makes you push just a little bit harder than if you didn't didn't have music in your ears. So I found a good song and I'm ready to take the two next ones. The song was a little longer, so I managed to pull three repeats off. So now we're only missing two. Yeah. And this is the hill from the top. It's very, very steep. We're done. We made it all the way through all 20 repeats. Uh, right now I have one minute still standing and then we have two to three kilometers cool down just easy easy pace and look at this there are so many runners in uh, in Sönermagen <laughs> there's a big fountain in the, in the middle and all the way around that's actually exactly 400 meters so if you don't have an athletic field, uh, you can actually just do your 400 meter, 800 meter, 1200 meter repeats right here in the park. It's amazing. Oh, it's so that's my minute. So uh, see you at home, and then we just do a little status, uh, the uh, the run overall. So see you in five minutes. Now we're done. Almost one hour run. Uh, and I will uh, share all the data on the screen right now. <clears throat> it was uh, great being back doing intervals again. And uh, it's also been very fun to have a first vlog training 
uh, what it's called. I don't know. I don't know the title yet, but uh, so I have the first vlog in English. This is the, uh, I don't know if I'm continuing, but uh, depends on what people saying. English is not, is not my, my, my favorite language, uh, which you already have heard, I guess. But uh, it's been fun uh, training today. It was hard, very, very hard, but uh, <clears throat> I could also see Garmin said I got 3.1 anaerobic, so, uh, and that's also uh, the meaning of, uh, of this uh, workout today. It's a uh, view to max training, so max capacity. Uh, so, uh, but thank you very much for, uh, for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel and uh, see you next time. <laughs> Bye.